Okay, we went over to the College of DuPage and we pulled up the Lupin map. Um, this is the infrared and you can see that um, they're showing the moisture there in the red and the purple. As you can see from the west, there's uh, moisture coming in and also from the Gulf, uh, from Texas and New Mexico pushing on up in the Mid-South. I know they did have some severe um, weather warnings um, yesterday um, with hail and um, flooding. No, Texas got floods on Monday. And over to the right, you've got another um, front that's pushing in towards Canada there. Here we have the water vapor map, and it shows you what the jet stream's doing. And as you notice, it's a little bit crazy. Uh, you've got that front pushing in from the west coast and it's pushing um, all the way down into California there bringing in moisture and of course on the right side you've got that big um, front that's pushing in towards Canada we're now over at College of DuPage and I'm uh, going to look at some things that happened yesterday as you look at right now there's nothing been reported in the past three hours but um, yesterday they had a severe Thunderstorm warnings for Greenville uh, in a Spartanburg, South Carolina area, Peachtree City, Georgia, um, Birmingham, Alabama. And then as we continue on down, uh, they had flash flood warnings in Jackson, Mississippi. And then tornado warnings um, New Orleans, Louisiana, Denver, Colorado, Goodland, Kansas. Uh, Pueblo, Colorado, and Grand Junctions, Colorado. Okay, we're over on Weather Online, and they've given a weather forecast for tomorrow for um, Wednesday, April 18, 2012. And you can see the different cities there, what the temperature is. I will point out a few. I noticed that Phoenix is going to be a 96. That's pretty hot. <laughs> Of course, Seattle's around 57. Uh, you got Raleigh, North Carolina, around 64. San Antonio is going to be hot. They're going to be around 84. And of course, you've got Chicago around 68. And Denver, 75. Now we're going over to Real Time Tools. This is a website that gives up to date, um, up to the minute live earthquake reports. Uh, these earthquakes are 2.5 or larger, and everything you see on this uh, this map here has happened in the last 24 hours. Um, I've noticed for the last couple hours that Japan is ongoing with earthquakes. So let's start with Japan first. Okay, Japan's had over seven earthquakes um, in the last 24 hours. There's two right there. There's a 4.7 there, and another underneath it. More 4.8s. 4.5. Real quick here I'm going to put my uh, cursor over the different red dots and they should give you the um, magnitude of these earthquakes and the location.
Okay, uh, I found this article um, earlier yesterday and uh, just want to bring it to your attention. Uh, there's some scientists out there who are saying, uh, or asking a question I should say, um, did North Sumatra earthquakes set off a chain reaction? They are saying the planet has been shaken by all these um, shocking numbers of tremors that's happened since April 11, 2012. And so I just want to show you here on the map that all these um, places on the Titanic plate um, has happened in the last um, seven days. As you can see, they're on the, the Titanic plate. And um, so whenever you do look at the earthquakes, uh, you will notice that most of them are on these titanic plates. But anyway, um, these scientists think that when the um, Sumatra uh, earthquake of 8.0 struck off the coast there, that it just, they're just popping everywhere. So I just want to bring this to your attention so you know that and um, maybe you can prepare for something that might be coming up. Um, it's really important. Uh, I know that we've been having earthquakes. Um, the big earthquake in Japan really started a lot of stuff. And because I've been watching earthquakes ever since Japan thing. And we've been having lots of earthquakes ever since then. But this is the first time uh, this many big ones has happened within a week. So just want to bring that to your attention. I will put down below. Uh, the box, the uh, link to this um, article, and there you go. Okay, after I woke up this morning, I saw we had a few more earthquakes here in North America. I just want to bring that to your attention. Um, over in Kentucky, they had a bear, uh, a 2.5, which is southwest of Louisville. And then, of course, I have one here in Utah, a 2.9, and that was uh, located on a national forest. And then down here in the Kuala Mala area, uh, they had a 4.5. Okay, it's been uh, a little bit over seven hours since I did the video, and when I got up this morning, I noticed there's some, been some significant earthquakes. So I want to bring that to your attention. Um, time now is about 10.26 um, on Wednesday, April the 18th, 2012. And 4.8 was in North Indian Ocean. That's pretty big. Uh, 4.5 in the Corral Islands. Uh, 4.5 in Guatemala. Now, if I murder some of these names, please excuse me because I'm not good at pronouncing words. <laughs> a 4.3 in the Maluka Sea. And, uh, of course, off the islands of Alaska, you got a 4.0. Utah had a 2.9 that was located um, in a national forest. Uh, 4.2 in the Strait of Garatar. 4.3 in New Guinea. 4.3 uh, in Alaska there again, 2.5 in Western Kentucky, uh, that is southwest of Louisville. Uh, there was a 5.4 in the Bonin Islands in Japan, that's out there in the ocean. Um, 2.7 in Hawaii, and of course Alaska again a 3.1. Okay, it's been about an hour since the last um, earthquake report. I went over to um, 3D earthquake, and you'll notice there a 2.8 has happened off the shore of Oregon. 
Anyway, um, what you're looking at now is earthquakes that's 2.5 or greater that's happened in the last day. Okay, now we're going to uh, move it up to two days. It's 2.5 or greater. Okay, now we're moving it down to three days. You see Sumatra there? Um, it's how in the last three days how many earthquakes they've had. You know that the one had the 8.0 about a week ago. And there, um, Puerto Rico's got right many. All right, now we're up to four days. Five days. Six days. seven days. Okay, um, as you can see, California on up into Alaska, doing a lot of shaking. This last seven days. Look at J Japan there. They still had a lot of earthquakes this week also. The past seven days. Now Vera Sumatra. Ooh. I think they take the cake. Look at this. I mean... That is unreal. It's almost like, what is going on over there? I guess what the scientists are so upset about. Because it's major earthquakes in that area. Okay, I shrunk the um, globe down so you could actually see how many earthquakes there was in the past seven days. Isn't this crazy? And your your uh, national media is not going to tell you about this. They don't want to scare you to death. But this is not normal, people. Not normal at all. So, if you live in earthquake country, you definitely be preparing because who knows? All right, there you have it. Have a good day.